Before you begin davening, it's important to wash your hands. This is in the Shulchan Aruch, Simon Sari Beis, Seif Dalet. Tzarech l'rchot yadav, b'mayim. You have to wash your hands in water, in Yeshlo, of course, if there is water. Uh, there's a question about what you do if you're on the road, but uh, the important thing to remember is that you have to wash your hands when you are about to go and daven. Then the Shulchan Aruch continues and says, Rachat yadav shacharit, if you washed your hands in the morning, and you haven't thought about it, you like sort of lost track of the fact that your hands were clean, you have to do nitila for tfila if there is water available. Even though you have no uh, reason to think that they were made a dirty or came into contact your hands that is with anything that uh, should not be uh, touched he should not make a bracha now we remember that at the beginning of Siman Dalet uh, Aleph the Mishnabur explains that there are two reasons for washing your hands in the morning the first is according to the Rosh, since your hands, you know, go wherever they go, and it's hard to control them, especially not uh, at night while you're sleeping, so Chazal uh, uh, established that it would be proper to make a bracha on the tilah for kriyachma and tefillah. That's what the Mishnah says. The Rashba says, quite the Rashba, another opinion, he says, after all, when we get up in the morning, we are likened to a new creation, right? and therefore we have to thank God that created us in order to uh, serve Him and to bless Him, and therefore we have to uh, say all the brachot that we say in the morning. And therefore, uh, it's important for us in the morning, this Kaddish B'Kedushosa, to sanctify ourselves with God's sanctity. And uh, so we wash our hands from a vessel like a Kohen in the Beit HaMikdash who washed before he did his service. Okay? So that means that everybody agrees that when you get up in the morning, you have to wash. The Rosh said, you have to wash your hands. The Rosh said, that you wash your hands le tfila, u le tfila. Le tf, le, you wash your hands for kriyachma and tfila as well. That's included. According to the Rashibo, you wash your hands because you're about to do acts of sanctification or acts that could only be done in the mode of sanctification. And therefore, it's important, according to the, to the Rajbo, to wash so that you'd be properly prepared, just as the Kohen has to be prepared on Yom HaKippurim for the Avodah that he's going to do. And therefore, he washes before he sets out to do the service of the Beit HaMikdash. So that in theory, in theory, if you washed in the morning and you come to Shul and you're going to daven, you're going to dive in chakras during the week or you're going to dive in on Shabbat. And you have no reason to think that anything terrible happened along the way or that your hands were kind of went on their own into some filthy place or some place that they should not have gone into. Then, in theory, it's not necessary to wash. However, the Shulchan Aruch says that we should wash uh, for tefillah because it is possible that between the time we washed at home and the time we got to tefillah, something might have happened that obligates us to wash again. But that washing, the washing that we do before tefillah, is a washing that we do without making a bracha. So that we wash twice in the morning. We wash when we get up because we either hold like the Rosh or like the Rashba. The Bishnabur says we actually hold like both. 
And then when we come to tefillah, sometimes later in the morning, we wash our hands again. The first washing that we do is a takanat chazal and there's a bracha. The second washing that we do is more of a safek, and there is some doubt as to whether we really have to do it, and therefore we don't make a bracha when we wash our hands before tefillah.